the second part is material group okay so what is the material group material group is going to be a important now you are having a laptop okay so let us assume material group okay now your company is manufacturing laptop okay so what are the different types of laptop you are having so i can say i am having commercial laptop okay commercial laptop then we are manufacturing industrial laptop okay we will say we are manufacturing personal laptop okay then we will say we will say we are manufacturing gaming laptop okay somebody say we will manufacture uh, portable laptop now what is this guys what i am trying to say over here these are the the laptop is having different different product range or variety of uh, product we are having which can be uh, grouped together later on so commercial laptop industrial laptop personal laptop gaming laptop portable laptop so these are the different groups of your product okay so material group is what now suppose here you are manufacturing laptop b14 so laptop b14 is a part of my industry laptop okay then there is a laptop c1118 this is my commercial laptop material number so this is the way you will have different different finished good material here in your company and you are going to group them in a different material group are you getting my point suppose now here material group is going to create as a so this is one of the configuration guys what i am doing right now okay material group so let me go to the slide also uh, material group okay we are going to suppose to learn this later okay but now point is coming so i will take this so by this way we can go to the configuration continue without specifying project okay and we will land to the page of material master define material group so define material groups okay omsf so this is the configuration omsf so material groups are defined at a client level client level means at your top level of your company you can define material group in sap to differentiate the various material differentiate the various material so we are having laptop c118 laptop b14 yes both are the laptop but what is the difference this is the industry laptop this is the commercial laptop one more simple example suppose again you are in mahindra and mahindra okay sorry you are in a um, uh, suppose ha huh, you are in this is a hyundai company hyundai car manufacturer okay in india okay i know only about india okay so in india we are having different cars of hyundai can somebody tell me i know one for aura one another aura, i10 i10 okay i20 i20 okay then we are having uh, hyundai Verna. sorry Verna, right Verna, Elentra, Sandro. Elentra, uh, Sandro, yes, Sandro is there. Sandro, okay, my bad, San, Sandro. And we are having a uh, venue, and we are having Creta, right? We are having Santa Fe, right? I guess Santa Fe is not working now, but uh, then we are having Alcazar. I hope Alcazar. right premium so premium yeah. <laughs> somebody said premium right right Sagar I guess you say right so now these are the car but this car having different category if you this is called as a micro sedan have you heard this or compact sedan yes. not a micro it's a compact sedan okay and when you sorry this Varna and Elantra are proper sedan sedan right this is these are hatchback hatchbacks yeah right now this is uh SUV, SUV. SUV, SUV. compact SUV. SUV it's not a proper SUV only safari and those are having proper SUV okay SUV. and this is your MPV we can say multi-purpose vehicle like it and all okay seven-seater multiple so what I'm doing I'm categorizing 
product like car product to different different groups okay what we are trying to say over here material groups are defined in a client level you can define material groups in a sap to differentiate the various material for example electronics manufacturing organization can classify computer desktop television okay so material which are having same characteristics are grouped together same characteristics sedan is the length width and the uh, ground clearance and engine capacity and people sitting capacity overall weight are mostly in a one common range having same characteristics here also these hatchbacks are going nearby in the within defined range okay having something so if you say sedan you can understand and they are fit to that shapes and design and something compact issue they will fit to that okay and mpv it is something different and this product is fit to that okay so as per the characteristics the product are grouped together so here what we are saying suppose this is a laptop c and in this laptop uh suppose i say uh c113 okay so they are having some specific characters my commercial or industrial laptop is called as a tub book you do you know that or we are having uh, mostly have you seen the military laptop in uh, most of the movies okay we found that these are there are military laptop there people are carrying the laptop the soldier is running with the laptop they are putting somewhere they are connecting via laptop right you see that so those are the military of they are tough tough book they call it a tough book one two series or tough book control d uh, series number one three so what i am trying to do over here guys i am trying to creating Group a category grouping grouping of them okay now what is this material group is going to play it is going to help a people to understand okay suppose tomorrow at base a it is updated at a client level okay this material group is going to be defined at a client level it means that whenever you are going to do the production okay okay we have to switch my uh you know next if meeting is closer you have everybody have the link right okay coming back to my so material group is going to define at client level what does this mean that it is going to be maintained with very higher level so suppose tomorrow company chairman want to know okay, where i am making a business am i making a business in compact sedan or in a sedan business or my mp is doing good or my only compact suv are doing far better compared to all other segments hello are you able to understand based on what based yeah, on yes, sir. the material group you can understand easily this is one way of understanding this okay here you can see suppose uh, tomorrow you understand that now uh, there is a budget is declared by the government and they are saying selling the military product will be having very very less taxes uh, indian government is going to remove the tax on manufacturing of military products so that we can have atmanirbhar something like that okay whatever we say uh, so it is the indian government decision so what happened we are going to manufacture more multi, uh, military group uh, laptop so that we will have less we will have more profit in that so chairman or company chairman or the owner of the company or board of director will decide okay let's focus on military laptop now we should have more and more manufacture and we can sell it with a less price and we can have more profit in that are you getting my point why because they are grouping them hello yes are you my point tip yes okay one yes. more thing. suppose you are manufacturing a tire okay your company is manufacturing tire and you are having a raw material okay raw material is what rubber yes right rubber is steel. rubber is having two different types one is a natural rubber material you are having two groups one is a natural rubber and you are having synthetic rubber okay now what happened government decided that after uh three month four month we are going to increase the raw material cost of rubber by 10 percent that is the news in the market so what your company will decide okay let us find out what are how many different materials you have created 120 different material number for natural rubber different different uh, specification and synthetic rubber you are having 100 different material number material number means what guys whatever we are creating over here okay in mm03 going back okay this is material so like this you are having 120 different types of rubber are you getting my point different material number 
which are used in different different product different types of tires okay so you are having 120 types of different raw material of rubber and you are having 100 plus different raw material of your synthetic rubber so companies decided okay there is a uh, taxes going to increase let's find out what is the inventory so just putting all the material number the uh, differentiate based on this category you can find out how many material numbers are there and you can group them together and you can immediately go and find out what is the stock of them i hope you understand overall purpose of material group from sales perspective from finance perspective from inventory perspective am i clear yes everyone yes, yes sir okay yes, sir. Sure. now let us yes. create that remaining part of material okay so let me create one i will create one group okay uh, continue without specifying project material master okay and we will create um, define material group okay and here i will go and i will uh, new entries i will give material name as a uh, laptop so this is our commercial laptop cm lop okay so what is the description this is a commercial laptop okay tim and i will create one in indst lap so this is my industry laptop so i am trying to create some groups which is i am going to require gam game laptop okay so this is my gaming laptop okay clear so mm -hmm. i will save it now so again it will going for uh, configuration the tr will be moved and this is a configuration whenever we say spro and going through that that is a configuration now it is saved so you can go back go back okay we are in going back again and we will close this okay and here we can go and search for our laptop okay so i will go simply for search button here and i will search for laptop okay so i am having different option commercial laptop gaming laptop industrial laptop so i will select first commercial laptop as a one of my metal group okay so are you clear how to what is the metal group and how it is impact okay configuration also yes sir right now okay chalo now